question. Look at the question here. Fish tail deformity is seen after injury to which anatomical site? Is it distal humerus, distal radius, distal femur or distal tibia? The correct answer for this is fish tail deformity is seen after injury to the distal humerus. Any distal humerus fracture like a fracture of the supracondylar area of the humerus, a lateral condyle fracture of the humerus or even a medial condyle fracture of the humerus. Any distal humerus fractures, they can be vascular injuries that can develop, that can cause resorption of the lateral trochlear ossification of the humerus. So basically, fishtail deformity, it produces a central defect involving the lateral trochlear ossification. And this is called as fishtail deformity. So please remember, fishtail deformity is occurring after injuries to the distal humerus. Let me show you the images. So this is how a fishtail would be there. There would be a central resorption. So in the same fashion in the bone, you are seeing this central resorption of the trochlea. What has happened is a patient who is having a supracondylar fracture or any distal humerus fracture, there could be a vascular injury and the trochlea aspect of the humerus. It is not the lateral condyle of the humerus. It is the lateral aspect of the trochlea. Trochlea is a medial condyle of the humerus, right? Trochlea articulates with ulna, capitulum articulates with the radius. It is the lateral aspect of the trochlea that resorbs producing this fishtail deformity. And it is generally a vascular injury that occurs after the trauma to the distal humerus. So let's review this fishtail deformity. So fishtail deformity of the elbow is characterized by a contour abnormality of the distal humerus involving which part? Is it lateral condyle or lateral trochlea? It is the involvement of the lateral aspect of the trochlea. There is a central deficiency of the distal humeral trochlear epiphysis giving to that fishtail like deformity. Fishtail deformity can occur after any fracture of the distal humerus. Generally, a supracondylar fracture can also occur after lateral condyle or medial condyle fractures. And do remember, it is occurring due to a vascular injury or arrest of the growth plate that is happening after the fractures of the distal humerus, right? So the resorption central defect involving the lateral trochlea produces this fishtail deformity. Mm -hmm.